Hola. 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 So I have a question for you. Please. So at the end of last season, Dean, um, was it? He said that he had to be not just Sam's brother, but his mother and his father. Does Sam realize this, and how does does he think Dean was enough? How does he feel? Sam does realize it. Uh, I don't think that'll ever make every uh, Sam and Dean love each other as much as two human beings can love each other. Truly. That also means they're going to hate each other sometimes and piss each other off, and they're going to be things. I mean, it's forgiven, right? Between Sam and Dean, it doesn't mean that there aren't things that Sam wouldn't say, like, "Man, that was not okay. That wasn't cool." And, and I don't think Dean would pull the card, but like, "Remove, but, but I used to be your dad, man." You know, it's not really that relate. It's like, "What have you done for me lately?" Uh, no, I think in in to a large degree, I think Sam's done similar things for Dean, being being. Being what Dean, uh, been what Dean needed when he needed it. You know, it might not have been Dean's dad, uh, but he's certainly been his brother. Um, he's certainly been his friend. He's certainly been on him sometimes when Dean wasn't being honest with himself or was acting out. So they are there for each other as as they can be. And I know Sam realizes it. I know Dean realizes it. They're the kind of guys that uh, are probably more concerned with the task at hand. Um, Unfortunately, they always have a big task at hand, it seems like, these days. Um, then chatting about it, but I, I don't think Sam or Dean doubt how much the other one loves it. How is Sam handling all the deaths at the end of the last season? Sam, it's a funny role reversal. Uh, where, where Sam is usually the one who wants to either talk it out or, or verbalize or vocalize. This year, Sam, I think, is so overwhelmed with Jack or what Jack might mean. Because Sam, I think Dean's kind of resigned on Jack. He's like, Jack's evil, Jack's gonna be evil. It's only a matter of time we're gonna have to put a bullet in his head. Where Sam is like, no, we, we have to nurture him. We, I think Sam sees a lot of himself in Jack. You know, Sam was meant to do evil things as well. Uh, he had demon blood in him uh, before he was one year old. So I think Sam, Sam might wonder a little bit if that's the way Dean feels about him still, you know? Um, and so Sam is sitting here, and Sam really hasn't dealt with Mom, Cass, even Crowley. We, we are not real sure about Romina, obviously. Um, Sam's like, we got to deal with, we got to figure out what to do with Jack. And Dean's like, no, we don't. We need to kill him and figure out about Mom, Cass, whatever. Um, but we kind of see Sam pushing his feelings down a little bit, and um, we know that we're something supernatural. Uh, we'll see it all blow up eventually. Go ahead. Most about being on the show for so long. I know you guys have like a deep emotional relationship. Yeah. Do you know something I don't know? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I. It's gonna be. It's gonna be like a series. It's gonna be a season of like waterworks. Like when we walk into Comic Con and they say, they're presenting our blah 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 and final season, and looking out there going like, man, like it's like I get kind of choked up. And uh, Jensen did mention we did a interview for something on Friday. And he mentioned he had a dream about how the show ends, and he told the dream. I remember the day he came to set, and he kind of seemed shook up. And I was like, something with the kids? I kind of left him alone for a second, and then finally, um, when we had time to talk about it, I was like, dude, you all right? He's like, man, I, I had this dream. I was like, oh, well, tell me about it. And he told me the dream, and he was like, kind of like, shaking it off. I like, it really affect him, so I keep kicking him. Um, but uh, it's gonna be really difficult. It's gonna be really, really difficult. I love these guys, you know? I feel very close to Sam. I still make sacrifices for Sam, which I've had the way to, you know, I'm not, it's no longer a, not that it ever was, but it's it's not a situation where it's like, well, I better, I better keep, uh, you know, turning the money wheel as long as it's there. I've worked my ass off for 18 years and been successful enough. I don't need to work anymore if I didn't want to, right? I love these characters. I don't love being away from my family. I don't love saying bye to Jen and Tom. Hey, I'll see you in a couple weeks, guys. I don't love that. But I love this family. I love the Supernatural cast and crew. I love Sam Winchester. I love Dean Winchester. Um, and it's going to be hard to lose those. Luckily, in our Supernatural universe we've all created together, things can always happen, you know? I don't think it'll ever be... What's the difference? I don't think it'll ever be goodbye. I think I'll say see you later. You know, whenever, even if it is goodbye, I don't know if I'm able to bring myself to say that, you know. So, but yeah, it'll be see you later. Sorry, I know.
It sounds like Sam's sort of like an oh. This is quick. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So how long do you think you're going to keep the show running? Because I know you guys have said that to your loyal Texas boys that it'll be like forever. Yeah, it's going to be if the show, if Andrew and Bob come to us one day and go like, hey guys, you know, we don't feel we can maintain the quality, you know, then that'll be a discussion we have and we'll wrap it up. Lynn. It sounds like Sam is sort of the optimist in this season. Does it feel good to play him that it way? Does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But I also think, and I'm sure you know this as well, that I think he's hiding some things in his optimism, you know? Um, I think he's really making the decision, and good on him, but I think he's not dealing with some things that he needs to deal with. A little bit of a defense? Yeah. I think so. And we'll see. Um, I know there's some things he needs to deal with, um, which if there wasn't anything he needed to deal with, then he'd be a weirdo because he's done a lot in 13 years. <laughs> That's true. Um, but yeah, it is fun to see him as well. And I think they were, nor do I have time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Oh, awesome then. I thought, sorry. Oh, if you're done with the thought, then we'll pull you the best. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> right. I didn't want to cut you off. I was like, oh, my goodness. No, no, thank you. I was like, I think I see somebody. But thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.